First Chronicles chapter 26 For the courses of the doorkeepers of the Qorahim, Meshelem Yahu, the son of Qoreh, of the sons of Asaf. And Meshelem Yahu had sons, Zakaryahu the firstborn, Yedi'ahel the second, Zavadiyahu the third, Yatniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Yehohanan the sixth, El Yehoenai the seventh, and Obed Adom had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Yehozavad the second, Yoach the third, and Shakar the fourth, and Nathanael the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Yishakar the seventh, Pu'ulatai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also to Shema'iyah his son were sons born, that ruled over the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valour. The sons of Shema'iyah, Othni and Raphael and Obed, Elazavad, whose brothers were valiant men, Elihu and Samachiyahu. All these were of the sons of Obed Hedom, they and their sons and their brothers, able men in strength for the service, sixty and two of Obed Hedom. And Meshelem Yahu had sons and brothers, valiant men, eighteen. And Hosa of the children of Merari, had sons, Shimri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him chief. Hilqiyahu the second, Tavaliyahu the third, Zakariyahu the fourth. All the sons and brothers of Hosa were thirteen. Of these were the courses of the doorkeepers, even of the chief men, having officers like their brothers to serve in the house of Yahweh. And they cast lots as well the small as the great, according to their father's houses, for every gate. And the lot eastward fell to Shalem Yahu. Then for Zechariahu his son, a discreet counsellor, they cast lots, and his lot came out northward, to Obedahadom southward, and to his sons the storehouse, to Shupim and Hosa westward, by the gate of Shalukath, at the causeway that goeth up, watch against watch. Eastward were six Luiyim, northward four a day, southward four a day, and for the storehouse two and two, for the Parabar westward, four at the causeway, and two at the Parabar. These were the courses of the doorkeepers of the sons of the Qorahim, and of the sons of Marari, and of the Luiyim, Achiyah was over the treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the holy things. The sons of La'adan, the sons of the Gershuni belonging to La'adan, the heads of the fathers' houses belonging to La'adan, the Gershuni, Yehieli, the sons of Yehieli, Zetam, and Yoel his brother, 
over the treasures of the house of Yahweh, of the Amrami, of the Yithari, of the Hebroni, of the Uzieli, and Shavuel, the son of Gershom, the son of Moshe, was ruler over the treasures, and his brothers of Eliezer came Rahabiyahu, his son, and Yeshayahu, his son, and Yoram, his son, and Zikri, his son, and Shalomit, or Shalomot, his son. This Shalomot and his brothers were over all the treasures of the dedicated things, which Dawid the king, and the heads of the fathers' houses, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the host, had dedicated. Out of the spoil won in battles did they dedicate to repair the house of Yahweh. And all that Shemuel the seer, and Shaul the son of Kish, and Havner the son of Ner, and Yoab the son of Ruyah had dedicated, whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shlomot and of his brothers. Of the Yithari, Kananiyahu and his sons were for the outward business over Yishrael, for officers and judges. Of the Hebroni, Hashabiyahu and his brothers, men of valor, a thousand and seven hundred, had the oversight of Yishrael beyond the Yordan westward, of all the business of Yahweh, and for the service of the king. Of the Hebroni was Yeriah the chief, even of the Hebroni, according to their generations by fathers' houses, in the fortieth year of the reign of Dawid, they were sought for, and they were found, among them mighty men of valor, at Yazer of Galaad. And his brothers' men of valor were two thousand and seven hundred heads of fathers' houses, whom King Dawid made overseers over the Ruveni, and the Gadi, and the half-tribe of the Manashi, for every matter pertaining to God and matter of the king.